Hello and welcome to a Doctor Who DVD review, the first in what I hope to be a long line of Doctor Who DVD reviews. Um, but if I can, this be my first begin at the beginning with the beginning, which is a box set released by Two Entertain and BBC DVD. It's a three disc set and it's a 12 certificate, more to do with the content of the special features than the episodes of Doctor Who themselves, and um, covers the uh, serials and an earthly child, the Daleks and the Edge of Destruction, three consecutive adventures all shown in the UK between the 23rd of November 1963 and the 15th of February 1964. Turn the tension to the side of the box, you'll see the spine, it's obviously the 12 rating, the cover of an earthly child there, uh, Carol Ann Ford as Susan Foreman, the unearthly child herself. Um, the rear is exactly the same as the front and obviously turning on to the DVD spines themselves with the images of the Doctor which is something that uniforms all classic era Doctor Who's they've got the face of the that relevant Doctor in those adventures on the spine it makes a nice collection across your bookcase um, yep we have an unearthly child which is a the, the original four part adventure that introduced us to the Doctor and the characters the Daleks, which is a seven-part adventure which introduces us, of course, to the Daleks' nemesis and most famous adversary, the Daleks themselves. And uh, a rather quirky two-parter called The Edge of Destruction um, that has a bit of a unique point, which I'll talk about later on. But um, that's the main box set. So if we take the, the DVDs out, and let's look at the first one. Right. Now, the DVD of an unearthly child. Um, got a picture of Carol Ann Ford on the front who plays Susan Foreman who we later believe later find out is the Doctor's granddaughter and um, she is the title character an unearthly child. Um, basically she attends Cold Hill School. Uh, she seems very very bright when it comes to science and uh, physics etc but she's not very clever at all when it just comes to the things around her the normal everyday uh, life on earth in the 1963 she's, she seems to be very backwards and this is an anomaly that that brings her to the attention of her teachers Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright who follow her to Totters Lane where they believe she lives and there they find the junkyard with the police box and the tetchy old man guarding it who we find out is her granddaughter and the doctor and you know obviously we know the rest we, the, the the police box is a tardis it is a time machine it is a spaceship that can travel through time and space and i must say for for a child watching this in 1963 this must have been absolutely edge of your seat amazing um because nothing like this had ever really been seen on television up to that point um the as I said, the unearthly child is a title of the first episode, and the first episode is the important one because it introduces all the characters and the premise of the show. And in just twenty five minutes, it explains everything that we're going to see with slight variations and changes, but with endless possibilities over the next fifty years. And it's such a simple idea, so it's interesting just to see it work for that twenty five minutes of how it all began. Um, the unearthly child is only the first episode. There are three other episodes in this, but they have nothing to do with an unearthly child. It's basically their first adventure where they go to uh, prehistoric times, meet a bunch of cavemen, uh, two of the cavemen are fighting for supremacy of the tribe, and they're deciding how best to deal with these these new strangers that have arrived within them, and they're trying to search for fire. So it's uh, the title only really relates to the first episode. It's, it needs to point out that up until The Savages in May 1966, every single episode of Doctor Who, whether it was part of, an, of, of a bigger serial or not, had its own title. Um, uh, so usually the serial title would be derived from the first episode in that serial or a title assigned at a later date, which we're soon to see. Now, the important thing about the Doctor Who DVDs in the classic series is the amount of special features that it has. I mean, it's amazing. They're, they're worth the price of the DVD itself. There may be an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours even, 
of Doctor Who Adventure on the discs. Um, but there's there's sometimes twice that, three times that in special features, and you know you you really get your money's worth. Uh, one one DVD can take a good couple of hours, sorry, a couple of days viewing uh, to really get your money's worth. They're well worth the money, even if there wasn't a Doctor Who Adventure on some of the documentaries and and things that you get you get for your money. It's just well worth the price of the DVD alone. This one, the highlight being a thirty five minute unedited, unaired pilot that was recorded in September of 1963, never never before seen, of the the sort of pilot episode. Um, very different to the fi- finished article that we saw on our screens in November that was actually broadcast. So it's nice just to see that um, little uh, tidbit there. Also, um, a theme music video, the full-length version of the original theme tune. So that's An Unearthly Child. Uh, so we'll move on to the next one in our list, which is The Daleks. Um, introducing very, very early uh, the Doctor's nemesis, the Daleks, in a seven-part adventure uh, where they land on Scaro. They find Scaro in the hands of the Daleks and the Thals, the native inhabitants, obviously, um, very peaceful people, re- reluctant to fight a war, um, and the Doctor obviously trying to help them there. Um, this is a 12, uh, so it's the special features that contain something, the whole that, that makes the whole box set a 12, must be on this disc somewhere. Now, the special features here, um, the highlight is the uh, creation of the Daleks, a documentary which looks at, obviously, how the Daleks were created. Of course, they were created by Terry Nation, who, incidentally, wrote this particular story. Again, the Daleks is a title that was given after the event to the collective bunch of episodes. None of the single episodes in this series is called the Daleks. Um, but, again, a lot of great commentaries, a lot of great documentaries, and wonderful special features uh, to do um, on that disc. Uh, final um, disc in the collection is The Edge of Destruction, uh, a very quirky two-parter, as I said earlier on, and it's very unique because in all the history of Doctor Who it's the only story ever to take place fully in the TARDIS. There's no outside sets, there's no leaving the TARDIS at all, and there's no extra cast. There is no other, nobody else in this, in, this, in this adventure other than the Doctor himself, Ian and Barbara, and Susan. And the whole basis of this story is the TARDIS has malfunctioned, the Doctor believes Ian and Barbara have caused this to get back home, Ian and Barbara have denied this, um, and it's it's the final play out of the animosity and friction between the Doctor and Barbara and Ian, which has been evident from the offset. This is pr- the episodes where they pretty much put it to bed, and, you know, they, they sort of kiss and make up, and they, they seem to um, uh, get on better after this episode. Um... So it only serves as that two-part. I think it was all set in the TARDIS due to budget restraints. Again, great special features. The highlight of this one is a 55-minute documentary regarding the creation of Doctor Who with interviews of the creators, Sidney Newman and obviously Beverly Lambert. Um, and um, basically how it was developed, how the staff was... Uh, the, the cast were assembled. Also pointing to note is the fourth episode the fourth serial Marco Polo now completely lost at the moment um there is a 30 minutes uh, sort of uh version of of this made up of photographs taken from the set and the original surviving soundtrack so for the first episode of Marco Polo there's just a bit of an insight there of what that would be like let's hope that one day they find all these lost episodes and we'll be able to see them for real but until then Marco Polo is a 30 minute version of the lost fourth Doctor Who story uh, made up of photographs and uh, soundtrack now that's the whole box set um, do a Google search, you'll be able to find the best price for it. Uh, so that pretty much ends my first review. Uh, do leave comments. Obviously, the more I do, the more I want to sort of tailor them to the audience that I'm getting. Um, so if there's anything you feel I ought to be adding or, or leaving out, by all means do so. Um, but do make a comment so we can take that on board. And also subscribe so you know when I'm putting the next one up. So that's me signing off for now, and I look forward to seeing you soon with the next Doctor Who DVD review. Take care. Bye-bye.